God. Amen. Amen. With that said, before we take an offering, before we sing a little bit more, we close out. Amen. If you came in here with something heavy on your heart, don't go out of here with it. When Jesus is here for the exchange. He wants to take your heaviness and replace it with joy. If you're not saved, we'll be more than happy to lead you through the plan of salvation. That's what we're here for. If you're broken, we know somebody can make you straight. If you're hungry, we got somebody that can teach you. If you're thirsty, we know about the living water. Whatever your situation is, don't go out the same way you came in. If you're looking for a church home, we'd love to have you be a part of this fellowship. But don't think you're going to come and just sit. Those churches up the street. I call us to train, to develop, to encourage, to build up, to edify, to strengthen for ministry service. Don't mean you got to be a preacher, but you should be serving God with your gifts. So he's a, he is Mother, Mother, uh, Mother Pender saying, come on. Yeah. And Mother Pender, let me take a picture too, but you don't like no picture. I take the camera and I know she will turn away. I know she didn't know, that's why I didn't let her know. But for Sister Pender, Mother Pender, to get up here and stand before you, that's an accomplishment. This is what I'm talking about, people being released. And I love the format today. People singing over there, people singing over there, people singing over there, people up here saying, it don't matter where you are. We're so used to so much formality, we ain't even serving God right. Thank you, oh God, for the deliverance. Thank you, God, for showing us a different type yes. of worship. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know what you came here this morning for. I do know that he is here. We don't make light of your, your concerns, your issues, or your worries. We don't. We just know him who's able to, to help you. If you really want help before this... Before we leave, please see one of the ministers, see myself, see Sister Thompson, see somebody. We'd be more than happy to pray with you. Yeah. Stay as long as it takes so you can get your assurance. Yeah. Don't make sense to be all this time here, go out, get hit by a car, and die, and go to hell. Why? Because you said, I'll talk to him next week. Don't wait. Tomorrow's not promised to us. The rest of the day ain't promised to you. You can go out, eat a beautiful meal, choke and die. And if you don't know Jesus, you're going right to hell. I know that's harsh language, but that's Bible language. You can't sugarcoat it. Either you know Christ or you don't. The devil's a counterfeit artist. I've never seen so many counterfeit Christians in all my life. You get enough of them, folks start thinking that's the real deal. You know the difference. If it's a Christian, we should see the fruits of the Christian. Amen. Amen. <laughs> if it's a wolf and she's cold, what are we supposed to do? Wait. Amen. Run. Get amongst the other sheep. Get ready for the fight. The wolf don't stop, folks. But we can prepare the way. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says that according to the scriptures, on the third day, he got up. And when he got up, he had all power of heaven and earth in his hand. Please don't think he was dead at those three days and doing nothing. Because death couldn't hold him. That body, that body was in there, but Jesus was doing his work. He went and took their keys back. He came to release them folks who've been in change who've been waiting for him. And my Bible says he's at the right hand of the Father right now, making intercession for that evil one to overpower you right now. So, Lord, our attention is on you. Our mind is on you. We thank you, oh God. We didn't come here to play games. We didn't come here to entertain. We came to offer praise and worship to the living King. And it was done. And if I say it wasn't done, that means you didn't do it. Because it was done today. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Let this be the start of something new. Amen. Amen. That people singing, who have been singing, that people coming, have been coming. Amen. Sister Karen, God bless you on your birthday. Amen. 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 
She got gifts in her. She's so quiet. Lord bless her. It's coming. You just don't rush it. Don't rush it. You ever try to cook something too fast? Instead of following directions? You end up with a what? You end up with a cake without the seed. Ain't nothing worse than having your appetite at that level and then you cook something and it come out wrong. We had came from Germany, went to Philadelphia, and I wanted a cheesesteak so bad. I said, honey, where the place is at? This your house, this your people town. Where the place? We went there, my appetite was like that. All I wanted was a greasy cheesesteak. That joker chopped up the steak, put the cheese whiz on it. What is that? Put all this stuff on it, and I got it in the car. One of three second rules, one of five second rules. I looked at it, I was disgusted, I was angry, kicking, cooking, going out. Lost my appetite. There's people that's just like that. They come to God with such a great expectation. And then they mess up and they blame God. Then they get mad. Turn your back on God. Run from God. I want you to know something. No matter how far you run, God is still there. No matter what you think you've done, God is still there. In our study, First John chapter 2, and that study on the world and sin, it said, even though they, they, they ran away from God, God was still running after them. We talk about us chasing after Him. He's chasing after you. Once He gets you, then you chase after Him. Just again. Before the world began, he loved you. While you were yet in your mother's womb, he loved you. When he saw you being fearfully and wonderfully made, he loved you. And then you come out, and then the people around you loved you. And then you grow up in the world, and then you let people tell you something, and all of a sudden now you forget that about the one who loves you. God loves you. With an everlasting love. An unconditional love. A love that reaches so far down. That no matter how far you drifted away, he's never too far from him. He will reach out and hold you. And bring you back. For you this morning, who think you're too far for God to reach you. Please know that Jehovah Shammah is the God who's always there. Even for that aircraft that no one can find, we serve a God who knows exactly where it's at. Amen. Amen. Even for those folks that mudslide, God knows exactly where they are. Even for you, this one who's been running from God, that's right, I'm talking right into your spirit right now. You've been running from God. I'm here to tell you, He knows exactly where you're at. Don't run. They sang songs of surrender, giving up, and withholding nothing. Why? Because it all belongs to Him. Amen. Hold back and say, So with that said, oh God, thank you for what was done. Thank you how you reached our hearts. Thank you, oh God, how you kept us from the evil one. Thank you, oh God, for ministering through song into our spirit. We refreshed. How many drank of the living water? Amen. We're refreshed. And if you're not refreshed, I want you to know I'm refreshed. My brother and sister Boss called us this morning. Pastor, is there anything that's needed at the church? No, no, thank you. I've had a couple of rough days for me. My brother Boss called. Sister Boss called. I help sister lift her spirit up. She wasn't there. And Sister Thompson said, as only Sister Thompson can say, do you guys need anything? 
Brother Lord said, no, 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 sis. We call to see if you need it. Thank you for the encouragers. Sister Katrina. Little thing in the chat. I don't know what is wrong, but I'm praying in the spirit. This morning we arrived in the state. She's not going to go. Is everything all right? Why? She's an armor bearer. Armor bearers can pick it up. Says Katrina, that heaviness is off. You blessed us tremendously. You are so awesome all the time. It's an honor, it's an honor Lord, to participate in offering. It's part of worship as well. Lay aside the first root and give it to the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for, for releasing us from the Cain spirit. The Cain spirit said, I give him whatever I want to give him. He better be glad I gave him something. Selfish. Thank you, God, for Abel. The spirit of Abel gave the first of what you desire. So, Lord, our hearts, as we have worshipped you, want to give you the first. Let's do your thing. Please, Lord, whatever can be done with this offering, for your kingdom, it is an honor to participate in giving. But we give with cheerful hearts. We give with a spirit of willingness, O oh God, knowing that you have placed within this church wise counsel who do the right things with your finances, O oh God. Thank you, O oh God, that every I is dotted and every T is crossed, O oh God. Next to auditor and whoever came, Lord, everything is in order. Why? Because we serve the God of order. So, Lord, whatever you can do with what we want to give, please use it for your kingdom. Reach lives, oh God. Continue to touch hearts. Continue to set people free. Continue to deliver, oh God. Continue to do the great work. Because one day, church, this is all going to be over. You're not going to be able to give because we'll all be gone, those who love him with all their heart, mind, soul, and strength. The same shall be delivered. Every eye shall see him. Every knee shall bow. And every tongue will confess that he is Lord. Do it now. Don't let him force you to do it. Do it now. So in our giving, we don't give forcefully. We give willing. Because we know it's for your people. And if you don't have anything to give, give them your service. It's not about what you can give. It's about the heart and eye you give it. In Jesus' name. Everyone say it. Amen. What's the ushers? Do we have ushers doing this? Not when you just give it on the way out of here. Huh? We have you on the phone? Put it in. Come on up, bless you. Thank you. Well, the blessed Lord we serve. Amen. Everybody still glad? Anybody need the envelope? Got the envelope open. Got the envelope That's important. Anybody need the envelope? Amen. If they want to do it, sing. Bless them. Come on. Do what y'all supposed to do. I'm sorry. I'm interrupting your service. 
he said. Amen. Now what can be done after that? <laughs> Jesus, how excellent. Amen. Jesus is excellent. Yeah. Well, church, now it's up to you. You heard it. You know what it requires. Now it's up to you to do something. You can take this this morning and put it in your pocket or put it on the shelf. Or you can allow you can allow it to be a seed that germinates and then begins to grow in you. You can allow it to be water for you if you already have that seed. You can allow it to be the tilling that tills your soil to begin to start to you can get a seed. The seed is the word of God. And if you have the word of God, it will grow in you. And if it grows in you, then you'll become what God requires of you. Heaven and earth will pass away, but it's the Word that will last forever. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. And verse 12 says, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Amen. The reason why your life hasn't really changed, how much truth are you really getting? <coughs> The Word of God is a mirror. It's the perfect law of liberty. As you look in it, you see yourself. All your shortcomings, all the issues, all the things that need to be dealt with is found in the Word of God. Close the Word up. Stop fellowshipping. Don't pray. And you won't see the shape that you're really in. I don't know which gym that is right now. Planet Fitness. $10 and $10 a month. You can get all the equipment, get on all the equipment, do all the things you want. $10 and $10 a month. That's nice. And that's necessary. And that's good. But the Bible says physical exercise profit is little. But godliness with contentment is great gain. Where do you get that from? The Word of God. Of the fellowship with God's people. From the communion of being in his presence and allowing him to grow in you. This concludes our time of worship. If you need to speak, talk about the situation or issue, please see myself or the more any one of these ministers, and we'll be more than happy to deal with you. If it's salvation, please don't leave. I'd like to know, let you know that you can find God's salvation. It's here for you. If it's something that requires something in depth, and you need to see uh, myself or more of these ministers, please do that. We will definitely uh, do it all possible to meet you right where you are. Remember, the garment of heaviness will only stay on you as long as you allow it. God says, take off the garment of heaviness and put on the garment of heaviness. Praise is a weapon. But if you're disarmed by the enemy, you won't have strength. Because it's the joy of the Lord that is your strength. And the church said, Amen. All right, now for our sister Angie, what can we say? Glory to God. Amen. Sister Angie said, you know what? Just show us a couch. We'll be all right. 
get the cot out. We sleep in your house. They said, no, we want to put y'all up in the Omni. We want to put y'all up in the Crown Plaza. We want to put you up down there with Grace and San Antonio. He put us in a resort. I determined that people who come here will be treated with respect and given the honor that's due them for the Christ that's in them. So the God of the Lord, the Father, your time with us has been well spent. And as I talk when I worship people, whatever their plan is, they have our support. And I know we love to bring you back again. Amen. As the Lord gives you strength, Amen. as long as you stay in your right mind, and full of clothes, we know our meeting will be again. Amen. With Amen. that, I please, before y'all rush out of here and do whatever y'all got to do, please greet our sister. Amen. We saw her daughter. One day we'll get to see Jerry. And again, we'll Amen. see the same. But uh, we fellowship with uh, Brittany. Now we fellowship with Mother. And we're going to write a letter to the state of San Antonio. <laughs> Telling them the blessing we have received. Amen. Amen. We're going to do it right. Amen. Give honor to whom honor is due. Amen. So please, before she freely greet her, give her one of those good Cherry Community Church hugs and let her know how much of a blessing she was to us. Amen. Let's give you a benediction. That's my Sam. We had a wonderful, worshipful time. Amen. If you didn't, don't blame God. Blame yourself. Because if you don't put nothing in, you can't get it. And if there's something negative, do not come around me with it. Amen? Amen? Amen. I don't need no poison. Say out of your mouth, you're either speaking life or death. Blessings are cursing, but the power is in your tongue. Start speaking life. If it wasn't what you wanted it to be, next time don't come. Amen. Keep that negativity to yourself. And the Lord said, you're always going to have some of them around you. Let's keep them in check, church. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll talk something negative. Say, let's start praying. Yeah. It'll stop it right there. Yeah. Now, unto the King of glory, yeah. Yeah. who is able to keep us yeah. from falling, yeah. who's able to present us yeah. faultless yeah. at his glorious Thank you. appearing. Thank you. Now, unto the only wise oh. God. Yeah. Only wise God. Yeah. 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 No matter where you are, he's able to present you to Thank his you father. Jesus. Yeah. You're not like no big 777 aircraft that can't be found. He knows where you're at. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That will present you one day yeah. to his father. Glorious church without spot or wrinkle. That's why we give him all the glory. That's why we give him all the praise. That's why he's the one who should be lifted up. Yeah. 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 Give him glory, yeah. power, majesty, glory. dominion. You yeah. can all ask to yeah. him. Just keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Till he returns, let praise be on your lips. Yeah. Yeah. And praise him. Yeah. And please, church, be genuine. Amen. Because yeah. counterfeit won't get in. Be genuine. If you feel real, be real. Yeah. Because all the players, all the haters ain't getting there. Amen. That's it. They ain't going. Only the real, only the cheap will be in his house. Because we got an invitation. If you don't have an invitation, you can't go. If you try to slip in, you're going to be escorted out. Because you can't even hide because they know where you are. See, everyone that belongs to him got the mark of Christ on them. Anybody that don't have that mark, but I get in. Check yourself. You got your invitation? 
Some of y'all looking for it now. <laughs> oh God, we love you with our heart, mind, soul, and strength. Thank you for a beautiful day of service. I was glad. Let's go. Brother Joey, give us some music to escort. Please greet our church. And God bless you till we meet again. And the church said, that was weak. Church said,